So over here, you can see that I have a scene with a bit of background animation going on right there. So in order to make the animation even more interesting, I can use camera. So to add a scene camera, what you can do is you can go into scene and over here, you can see that you have an option, new scene camera. Once you click on this, a new scene camera will be added in just like this. And what you can do is you can work around with the camera right here. So on the right hand side for the camera layer, you can see that there are camera track behavior options. So we're going to go on the first side right here and enable the mouse and touch input. So, so there are different areas as you can see right here. Let us go for the mouse and touch input now. So over here, when you enable the mouse and touch input and you're on the camera layer, you can click by using your mouse and you can see that you can pan around just like that and the camera moves out. So right now, the smoothness is 15% right over here. So if I were to decrease this out into 0%, if I were to go around and click and drag this, you can see that uh, the camera moves as the the mouse is moving. I can also zoom in and zoom out by using the scroll mouse button right here. So what I can also do is improve out the smoothing. So let me just take this to 100%. And now what happens is that if I were to click and drag, you can see that there's a bit of a delay right there, but there's a bit of a smoothing going on. So you want a smooth camera movement. You want to enable this up. Same goes for the zoom right here again. So you can zoom in, zoom out by using the scroll button. You can see that it is much more smoother but 100% is a way too much. So I'm just going to go around into something like 30%. So it's not very, very intense as you can see right here. So maybe I want to go around to 50% right here, just like that. So it's smooth enough. So now uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to record the animation. So for that, I'm go just going to hit the record button. So there's the countdown right there. And then what happens is that as I move along, the camera animation gets recorded. Let me just stop that out. So these are all the camera animations. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out the camera animation right here. It's still here. So what happens is that if I were to play this around, you can see that the camera animation has been recorded out. And that is how you can use the uh, mouse touch input just like that. You can increase out the smoothing right over there. So, and then what you can do is you can record it even further. So I'm just going to record this out. And then there's the countdown. You can go around, zoom in just like that. And then you can see that this is how it looks. It records whatever you do with your mouse just like that. So what happens is uh, this is a quick way to work with camera animations, but is not uh, the preferred way because you don't have very much of a precise control right here because it's all live. So usually if you want to work for a detailed and a refined camera animation, you have to work with keyframing the position X, Y and zoom and rotation, which you're going to see in the later lesson. So this is how you can use the mouse and touch input uh, with smoothing for uh, camera animation inside of Adobe Character Animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.